My twin brother learned to ride a bicycle before I did. We have home movies showing him hosting, hoisting the training wheels over his head after my dad took them off his little red bicycle. Not wanting to be left out of this bicycle riding thing, I pushed his bicycle on the sidewalk, pretending I could ride. I don't remember exactly when I learned to ride a bicycle, but I do remember riding and seeing the training wheels in a ridiculously high position above the sidewalk, and I was moving pretty fast. I've always, it's felt like I've always had a bicycle. I've kept riding since then. I've loved riding to get somewhere, to the park, to school, to work, to shop, or to visit my friends. I rode a bicycle in college in upstate New York in all kinds of hot, wet, and snowy weather. I raced bicycles in college too. I rode fast and my heart pounded and I won some races. I used to like to ride really fast, and sometimes I still do, but riding fast does not let me take photographs. I love a camera as much as I love a bicycle, and I really love taking photographs of people riding bicycles. I sold my car in 2008. My well cared for and completely paid for, awesome for camping, boxy but cool Honda Element. I sold my car because I wanted to see if I could get around mostly with my bicycle and with transit and occasionally renting or borrowing a car. I started an experiment to see what the limitations were and if the concerns of my friends and family were justified. Would life be impossible without a car? I knew that if I had the car in the driveway, I, I might not choose to ride my bicycle. I rode my bicycle to the bank after getting the cash, $9,000 was a stack of cash, which is coincidentally what the American household pays on average for each car every year, more than they spend on food. When a household has multiple cars, that's a lot of cash. Riding back from the bank, I felt a sense of righteousness. I felt that I was doing good for the environment. Plus, the cheap gas station was selling regular gas for $4.59 a gallon. Right away, the joy and incredible sense of freedom I had known and loved before returned. I was riding my bicycle almost every day. I got stronger, I lost some weight. The things I wanted the bicycle to fix got fixed. I got to really look at my suburban neighborhood. I found shortcuts that saved miles and took me out of traffic and onto unpaved roads. I, con I convinced my neighbors to ride, too. I started really looking at the streetscape and how hard it is to get around by riding a bicycle or walking. I mastered holding my camera and shooting while riding. I started taking lots of photos. I started taking photos of people on bicycles in different neighborhoods like Barrio Logan, Mission Hills, and around the San Diego airport, Normal Heights. I've been taking photos of people on bicycles in different economic circumstances. I think that because I was on a bicycle too, these unsheltered people were more receptive to my taking a photograph of them. I travel, I travel to different cities, Portland, San Francisco, Vancouver, to different countries, Spain, Denmark, and a bunch of other places. I saw the great potential of a bicycle as a way to get around a neighborhood, a city. In 2011, I traveled to Copenhagen, Denmark. This trip was amazing for me and really cemented my passion for bicycles as transportation and photographing bicycles. I chose to go to Copenhagen because nearly half of all trips in Copenhagen are by bicycle. In San Diego, 
bicycle trips are around 1%. And there was a photography festival happening as well. This is the first photo I took in Copenhagen. It was late in the evening in June, so the days were really long. I stepped out of the apartment I was renting, and this lovely couple rode by on a cargo bicycle. To me, this image looks like love. Maybe they are a couple that have been together for a long time. The huge difference between our neighborhoods and Copenhagen's neighborhoods is infrastructure. There are separate bike lanes everywhere. Because of that, people riding in Copenhagen are relaxed. They look comfortable on the street in a way I never see in any neighborhood in San Diego, except maybe Coronado. Selling my car led me on a fantastic adventure through many neighborhoods here and around the world, chasing images of people on bicycles. That changed last year when my dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Before his diagnosis, once or twice a week, I would ride my bicycle to the transit station, put my bike on the rack of the number 20 bus to Rancho Penasquitas, listen to an audiobook or look at social media for half an hour, then hop off the bus and ride through the suburbs to visit my father. I began to notice he was not himself. He asked me one morning as I rode up on my bicycle, now, how are we related? I said, hey, it's me, Judy, your daughter. There were unexplained dents in his car. I worried that something terrible could happen if he kept driving. So I began to drive for him. I've gained a few pounds because I'm driving his car. Driving a car for me now is stressful. Traffic is terrible. People are aggressive. I'm constantly reminded of how bad a car-centric city can be. I feel like I was dragged from my dream of riding my bicycle and not driving very much. My friend suggested a tandem. I can picture my dad on a tandem, the wind in his hair, the sun on his face, and joy in our hearts. But his balance is so bad, I'm afraid to have him on a tandem. I'm afraid of a lot of things surrounding my dad and the loss of his memories, our memories. He gave me many bicycles over the years, but he doesn't remember. He was my first photography teacher. He gave me several cameras. He has a photo of his parents, a large sepia wedding photo. Recently, every time I visited, he said, have you seen this photo? He would put the photo back on the shelf. And 10 or 20 minutes later, he would take it off the shelf and ask the question again, have you seen this photo? I needed things to slow down. I turned my camera toward my dad. This photo is called, have you seen this photo? <laughs> I started shooting with black and white film. I got back into the dark room and that helped slow life down. Because of my dad's Alzheimer's, I'm riding less and I'm more rushed. If I ride my bicycle, I feel better, and the stress is diminished. The stress of this loss is diminished. I realize this, and I've made efforts to ride more and carry my camera, but it's harder. There's a car in front of my house now, and I have to drive it because I don't have easy options with my dad. My twin brother abandoned riding bicycles a while ago. He gained a lot of weight. He struggles with that weight. He lives near Seattle, Washington, and I know he would feel better, maybe lose some weight if he rode a bicycle again. Lots of us riding. Our cleaner and quieter city filled with bicycles and joyful riders. That's my bicycle dream.